Did you put a ranch hand bumper on the front of your 2021, 2022, or 2023 F-150? And now your truck does this constantly? Or it constantly triggers the collision assist when a car passes on your driver's side or your passenger side, in return locking the brakes up on the truck. Well, I got a fix for that. But before I can show you the fix, I must show you why it's happening and explain it a little bit, and then it'll all make more sense. Now this pertains to trucks with the collision assist and adaptive cruise control. You can see right here in uh, Ranch Hands instructions that uh, here is how you're supposed to mount that sensor. So now here's the bracket that Ranch Hand sends you, as you can see in their instructions. This is a deconstructed version of uh, the Ford factory bracket. Now that bracket is supposed to get mounted right there with your adaptive cruise control collision assist sensor and all the parts right like that. Now this is a good idea in theory except for when this is mounted in the factory bumper it's mounted like this. This is a radar unit. It sends radar signals outwards. Okay now if you take this sensor and you now turn it sideways it sends radar signals sideways. Why is this bad you may be asking? Well let me explain it to you. So now instead of the radar signal coming out towards me like it's supposed to it is now being sent sideways. So if you're on a three lane road and you get the signal going sideways it's gonna pick up them cars right over there. Does anybody know what happens when uh, that collision assist system picks up cars? It slams on the brakes for you. So now that we've followed Ranch Hand's instructions and we're getting our brakes locked up for us every time a Prius passes us on the left or the right, uh, eating the dash in the, in the steering wheel is fun and all, but um, this is wrong and it needs to be fixed. Because until it's fixed, it's actually extremely dangerous to drive. So I made this. This bracket right here. It's going to hold all these pieces in the correct position. So we have this uh, little guy right here that clips in that adjusts the, uh, the pivot right here front to back. Okay, So that will thread in that hole right there. And we got this pin that goes through the bracket. clips in right there and then we just got to take this find the hole snug her down so now we maintain the full factory adjustability of this and the sensor slides into place in the correct orientation and now this can get bolted into the truck in the factory spot, or not the factory, but it can get bolted into the truck where um, Ranch Hand has their, their brackets, and this will perform like it's supposed to. So as you can tell, that little short clip was made quite a long time ago, and here's what's happened since then. Since I made that bracket and I made that video, I had a lot of things happen. One, a lot of you have had the same issue that I've had and wanted this bracket. And two, Ranch Hand saw that video and they wanted the bracket as well. So I couldn't exactly make that bracket and send it out to you guys, even though I wanted to help. Ranch Hand wanted to see it and get their product fixed. So I had a meeting with them and I went and worked with the engineers and they looked at my bracket and they traced it and uh, are working on a fix, apparently. I was really excited to work with their engineers and work with them further, even, as in get hired on and help with this project. So I went ahead and um, applied, which is what they told me to do. I applied so I could help work on this project. And then a few weeks later, they sent me an email saying that um, we found a candidate that better suits our needs. So... Here's what's happened since then. Since I gave them this bracket, essentially, I can't go ahead and 
give this all out to you, even though I still have multiples of you contacting me to get this bracket. So hopefully those of you that are interested in this see this and this makes it to its right place. But what I did, now that I knew that I could get this bracket transferred into CAD, I had to go ahead and make it a little bit better than what I had previously made. So here is the final iteration of that radar sensor bracket that bolts into the ranch hand bumpers. I am so glad they found a better candidate. Hopefully they know how to use CAD. So this is what I drew up and this is what we ended up with. A nice 3D printed ASA plastic, weather UV resistant. Um, it's made for the outdoors. It's essentially ABS plastic. Okay. Now, if you decide that you want to get one of these, I don't have my website set up yet. I am working on it currently. But if you would like to get one of these brackets for your radar sensor, um, send me an email, john at jdsoutdoors.com, and we can work something out. It does not take very long to make one of these, so I can get them sent out to you uh, very, very easily and very reasonably. And they're super simple to assemble. We still have our little um, adjustment screw. That threads into that post. Then we have our radar unit. You slide it over the post there until it snaps in place. Just like that. And you'll notice on the sides here. This side, the opposite side of the JDS logo. This piece here is shorter than this piece here. And that is for the head of the bolt to rest in. So here is the bolt. Trying to do this one-handed is very much fun. To get it started, you just give it a slight squeeze until it goes all the way through. See it coming through on the other side. That little tab will snap into place. That little tab clips into place just perfectly. So now we have a super light, easy to ship easy to make radar bracket it maintains full adjustability and this will just bolt into the truck and look just like this and here's what it looks like inside the truck you can barely see that bracket but you can see the sensor it has no problem shooting through this steel plate that ranch hand provides and the adjustment screw is easily accessible from the outside that way you can adjust the angle of this radar sensor now that it's properly mounted. Now I have about 14,000 miles with this sensor in this location and orientation and I've had no problems. If you have the same problem that I had, like you saw earlier in the videos, go ahead and give me a email at john at jdsoutdoors.com and I'll do my best to get one to you, at least until I'm forced to remove this video, if that happens. Uh, otherwise, if I'm allowed to keep it up for quite a long time and long enough to get my website up, then I'll put it on the website at jdsoutdoors.com. But until then, if you want one, drop me an email and I'll help you out. Uh, hopefully, the people that need to see this get to see this video because that other video I had, I was forced to remove. Um, I'm giving that other bracket design away. For free essentially hopefully they stick to the word about giving me a new front bumper but my hopes are about yay high on that that i'm going to get that so in the meantime i'm here to help you guys out if you need it if you have a, a chevy or a dodge with, with this same problem um and you have a way to get your radar sensor bracket to me and some measurements i can also help you make one of those up too if if need be but this one pretty much pertains to the 2021 and newer f-150 with that aftermarket ranch and bumper so as always thank you for watching jds outdoors i appreciate every one of you